Hello. And welcome, welcome, welcome. I got something really special for you today. It's called Solo Challenge. Yo, let's give her Helion, maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. Um, definitely not Phobolog. So a lot of these things I kind of like. Let's see if there's a, a line. If we can line that up. Hmm. So we could take the mining area and place it beside the industrial center. That's very powerful. Artificial photosynthesis, very powerful. Imported hydrogen, not great, but okay if our plan is to put a mine here, because then we ocean here, get two steel, use the steel, buy the mine. The mine gives us two steel, and it gives us two bucks because we bought this early. Adapted lichen's good to really get that plant income started, and methane from Titan is also interesting to me. We have $42. So let me grab all this and then think about turn one. Right? 16 bucks, or sorry, 18 bucks only leaves us with what? $24. So we could spend 16. And then that gives us enough for one of the cards. And then we have to buy the other one for four. So it's like 20 bucks. It's not that great because I'd like to buy a steel income with this card. So let's give up on the ocean for a minute. Well, it gives us three plants. And we give up on methane from Titan. Now with 12 bucks, again, let's work through it. We need 16 and four, and one of them's free because we're gonna have steel. So it's 20 more dollars. So I am $32 in the hole. Oh, sorry, I'm not, I'm not taking hydrogen in this, this case. In this case, it's only $8 for the two cards. So we're at $20, and then that leaves me with $22 to work with. I feel like this is a slow-to-launch uh, episode. But people, quite frankly, have asked for that. More like discussion around the decisions you're making. Here's the thing. If we do this, we spend... Because I was thinking we can spend that, we can get the plant income, yo, and then get artificial photosynthesis, but I forgot I also want to spend $7 on the income. But either way, I think this is a winning combination. I think this is lean enough that we can get everything I want to get out of this. Because we put that there, we build the mining area, okay. Then I'm going to activate this. So that gets us up to two steel income. And then this is the this is the big choice. I think I take the adaptive lichen. No. Ugh. I'm going to take the energy. And here's why. The energy, if not used, goes into heat. Right? Which is good. You know, two heat is the same as one plant to me because uh, greenery is twice as expensive-ish or difficult to put out as um, as doing a heat bump in my mind again just just roughly speaking um, and it's greenery is also worth twice the number of points because you get a point for the greenery and a point for the TR as, as opposed to one so that's good value right energy into heat but also, as Helion, we have the added benefit that uh, we can spend it as money to help shore up our shortfalls. So here, I'm buying that. We could buy Adaptive Lichen again, but again, I'm going to put it off in favor of a steal. I don't know at all whether or not that's a good well, I know it's a good trade because I'm choosing to do it. Um, 
but putting off plants feels bad. Now, Ice Cap Melting is a very good card, just because we know we're probably going to need a standard Project Notion at one point. If we do it at the end of the game to win, we can do it with Ice Cap Melting, and then effectively it's $8.00. Lagrange, I do like as well. Here's the the tough thing for me is that I really want adaptive lichen. Okay, it's not non-negotiable, but it is something I want. Adaptive lichen and seven dollars to increase our steel production. Okay, that's sixteen bucks. That leaves us with two dollars. All right. Which means if I buy a card, I can't do both unless I use one of our heat. But one of our heat is a money income because it's a TR, right? So I think I can take both of these cards. Science card is just useful if ever we need to do some sort of science build. And then again, I can only get one of the things I want because I want this heat bump more than any of the others. And then I take the steel income. Now we need a steel card. A city would be fine. Something is fine. It's We're already late and needing of one. But like we really need one now. Okay, let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. So I like Vesta. These two I don't like. And nuclear power is a steal. Also, you may have noticed that if we spend $3, we'll have $17 left. Giant Space Mirror is jumping out to me as we do that and nuclear power. We have eight energy income. It's not heat, which is what we'd rather have as Helion, but it's good. But now we're putting off adaptive lichen quite long. We cannot get the big asteroid, but the big asteroid will be useful. I think I do a lot of energy. I like Vesta Shipyard, but all the energy just kind of lines up. And because the energy is basically heat, which is basically money... It means that we can uh, we can get our money back on it, basically. And if we don't use it as money, we're using it as you know, as heat bumps, which is good. Though this is a pretty lame run in that I haven't spent any... Don't be startled. I had a crash. But I was able to save the save file. So this run is still alive. And I was just saying, I just looked it up, what I was in the middle of saying. This is a lame run because we're not using any of our heat for things other than heat bumps. Because we haven't been propositioned or given an opportunity where that's like even a good idea. Now, what I just got offered is really good, in fact. Fusion power works into our, we're just buying all the energy things apparently. And Protected Valley is income and it's a greenery. So I think I can take it. And, and the key thing here is that both of these cards are building tags. Now. How much steel is this? 10 steel and $3. I think I'd rather have the energy in the short term. Yeah, and then again, we're just going to take the heat bump, because specifically next round, if we can get another heat bump, then uh, that would be good. But yeah, we're, we're running a weird Helion here, where we're just maxing out energy, so that that will be our heat, right? And like, it f it's functional, we're doing it. Here's Lycan that we can put with Adapted Lycan, and Micromills is still valuable at this point. Remember, six bucks to collect a heat, like, seven times, eight times. So, good. Uh, I'm tempted to take uh, moss as well, but we have no oceans. 
but I did it. So we could do Protected Valley now. It would give us some income, which would be huge. But I think it's time to do uh, this bump here. And then we're going to do Lichen. And then I'm going to spend one heat to get Micro Mills this turn, which pays for itself immediately. And then next turn, we're going to have four more steel. And Protected Valley will consume all of it. Well, that feels right. That feels good. I think we're going to grab the cards with it as well. I've been thinking on it. Well, these are some good options as well. We're not very wealthy, though, but I think I can get mining rights. And I probably want a titanium income to start working towards the asteroid. If we use Protected Valley here, for instance, we get some steel, which would help with the mining rights early. I think above all else, I want to do two heat bumps, which I'm going to start with just so I don't screw it up to get us that heat income for free. And it, we need more monies. Um, I really want mining rights. I'm going to get the mining rights. Think of the mining rights as it's three income in titanium, whereas the protected valley is three income in a TR and two money income, which is more flexible, so better. But it didn't require as much steel downrange. I don't know. I feel like I probably should have done the protected valley. I'm just not... I don't want to commit to this location for the Protected Valley, because then I'm kind of locked there. I might want to be in here and get both sides of the oceans that we put down. That's kind of like the reasons I held off. But I could be convinced if somebody wanted to put their foot down and say, you really should have done that because you had the steel anyway. But by holding the steel and getting an equal amount of money back on something you want to do that's less flexible you didn't have to commit as much steel that you can then use for something like a nature preserve. Something like this is good, but we're starting to get late in the game. Even the natural preserve is a little bit on the weaker side, but we have steel. Hmm. We don't actually have an Earth type. And by the way, I'm always taking Earth office. I, I've made that clear in a number of videos before. The cost reduction on Earth tags is very significant and good. So with this grab, there's nothing we need to grab. Because we've already played the mining rights that has to be beside something. However, we could grab a titanium to work for our space cards. We could grab a card or we grab two steel. And I think I want to grab the two steel because then I can grab the Protected Valley this turn and feel a little bit less guilty about it. And then, even though I like these conceptual, I'm going to stick to getting cards because we need cards very badly. We've got, finally, we've got some power actions. I think they're even worth doing this turn. As, again, now that we've gotten up to here on the heat track, I'm not as sad to say let's spend seven heat which is significant which allows us to spend four energy to get another steel and get that oxygen flowing like that is huge getting that oxygen bump started is a, is a big deal we want development center as well to be honest finally some cards that i'm like hey we might get into something positive here very positive um, research outposts and imported GHGs are powerful. Then we get a little bit more steel. Now a research outpost.
I want the plants because that actually gives us the breakpoints for the plants this round. And then I want more plants to accelerate us getting another one. Earth Office is now free, so I'll just play it. Advanced G G's. And we'll put a titanium into it. So that feels okay. So how much heat is this? 10 heat. If this was money, pretend, flip, flip this on its head. If this was money and we could spend $10 to get $3 every turn for five generations, I would do it. Let alone the plant. But it's heat. So really, think of heat as being you can spend eight heat to get a money income every generation and you need it to win. Well, now all of a sudden it's 24 heat is the cost of this card. So that's, you know, it's 25 in reality, but 24-ish. So it's like three bumps that you could do to get an equivalent amount of income. But we only have to spend 10 and we get a plant income. I think it's worth going off the heat track in this instance because we're going to end up with more heat in the end and a bonus plant production, which is nothing to scoff at. And then I did another bump because I did not want another steel income. It, a steel income would have been good as well. But a steel income is worth $2. The heat bump is worth 1 TR. And helps progress the game forward. Lake Marineris helps a lot. Now worms, I don't think I built tags for that. No. I think the dev center is the first, oh no, the second place to go. The first place to go is to get the last steel we need to make dev center completely free. The fact that we have these oxygen bumps are making this game easy to not lose. Now we're, now we're searching for actively going to win. This requires not a single heat. Kill them neutral plants. Two more heat bumps. Because we have standard technology, we have to look at heat bumps as costing $11. But if you spend heat on them, they're $8. So 14 is the base, 11 is our premium, and we're getting $8 because we can spend our heat as money for a heat bump. That's just such a great deal. I would play a card from hand that gave me that rate of return. I also like Lagrange. But I'm not willing to spend two heat on it or overpay in titanium. Because even if we draw we drew a very good card, we wouldn't have enough to play it. And if it's cheaper, cheap enough to play it, it wouldn't be worth playing. Let's talk about mole hole area. That's four heat three times for nine dollars. Kind of meh. I think magnetic field is much stronger. Now, lightning harvest is good, but it's in the points department. So I think I leave it alone. Yeah. Let's get another card. And we have nothing to spend titanium on, so I don't feel bad throwing two of it at a science tag to get another card. Solar. It's got an oxygen. I want this magnetic field dome. Now. Let's look at our building tags. Because we can copy one of them. 
two plants for four energy is a little bit rough. That's only really worth it when you get the TR out of it. So three energy from fusion powers looking like the best choice. It's not even that good though. It's like six dollars worth or six in the heat bowl. You know, you, you really have to recontextualize the value of things with the whole standard projects being cheap and the fact that we need so many oceans. We got three oceans in hand plus one for free. We need more heat, so I don't mind doing fusion power, but I don't like it either. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not... I keep saying it, moaning and groaning. I'm not a fan of what's going on. Like, we need... A little bit more to get us there, I think. We're only generation 12, and we're very much on our way to terraform the planet. But at the same time, I'm like, yo. So, Lava Flows is interesting. Because, think of two heat bumps as $16, because we're using heat to do it. Spending 20 isn't so good. But we get two plants out of it if we put it on, Ar on Arcea Mons. Are you willing to put four more dollars down to get two plants? Right? 16 bucks for two eats. Get two plants for the four dollars? I think so. These are not enticing. So let's start with uh, drawing a card. It's fine, some science-y stuff. Let's get that oxygen, which gives us the heat bump. Because really our heat is money now. So like you've got to... You've got to look at it as basically as equivalent to cash monies. Tell me how we feel. I think it's good. Like, Marineris is powerful for us. It really gets the ball rolling on these oceans. I'm not talking right now, but I'm just really trying to puzzle this stuff out. Like, we're playing this extra ocean to get a plant. We're playing our plants to scooch out some money. We're burning some better city spots, but we're not trying to be too cocky that we have this. Despite it being like, obviously it's looking good, but if we play it conservative, we're not giving up that many points that we could get. Um, this is a great time to play Moss. I'm just wondering if we take the loan to do something with it. Do we just take the heat bumps? I kind of like leaving one heat bump because a lot of good space cards, like a Comet or something, might give you a free heat bump and do the other stuff that I want. And that's kind of wasted if you block, block it up. I think we just pass with this. This is the before last round or the last round? The before last round. Okay, we're really far ahead of schedule. It looks really good when you look at those two tracks. But remember... Um, I want all of this. But remember that we have five oceans to go. So that kind of changes the, the numbers. But also remember, all of a sudden, this 21 we have in our heat is all just cash monies. So like we're quite wealthy, and we have standard tech, and now all of our me me like, ah, metals are worth that much more. 
not to mention our little bit of cost reduction. Do we even have earth tags? Like literally one. I still want this Jovian though. It's a point. For metals or titanium that I haven't been able to use otherwise. I don't even, like, this card here, I love it. I love the energy. I love getting titanium back. I love that it's a science, a space, and an energy tag. And I grabbed it because in my mind, solar wind power is such a great card. Such a great card. It's just, it gives you so many things. We look at the stuff. Working those solar storms to your advantage. Solar, wind, look at the cool artwork. Like, it's, it's just, it's a cool card. Conceptually, it's got great tags, great stuff, and it's like an asteroid where you get metals back. Why did I buy it? This is this is a card that's a great example of my own bias. The energy production I got from it is going to stay in my energy pool. Okay? It is not going to make it to heat in time for the end of the game. The two titanium I got back on it only matches the two titanium I put into buying it. And I put in $2 and 3 bucks to buy the card. So I spent $5 to get a science tag, a space tag, and an energy tag, which I don't need for any requisites for any cards I have. And the energy isn't going to give me anything. I just spent $5 on this, and it doesn't even have a point. This right here is a perfect example of this bias I have towards this is a powerful card, it's a great card, it's almost an always grab, but it, at generation 13 playing solo, this here to me is the most self-critical I can be. I'm like, why did you buy this? This gives you nothing. You do not need this energy. You have 13. If you had a city card or something that you really wanted to play, which you do not. Anyways, I'm livid with myself. What were you thinking? Here, solar energy. You could say a similar thing, except, you know, you don't need these tags, you don't need this energy, but this three steel, it's just sitting there. It isn't doing anything, right? Solar power, I got for free for playing an energy on my whatever, and it's worth a point. So that's a no-brainer long before you consider the other one, right? We're at nine science tags. We don't need any more science tags. In fact, we didn't even get any of the good science tags. I just value science tags so heavily like ah who am i why am i why do i play like this you guys have the right to criticize when somebody makes moves like this like even interstellar colony ship and this i almost want to play these cards early just to get them out of the way they don't take up the brain space capacity what have you but they give me nothing if i play them right now but if i waited there could be a synergy with science there could be a cost reduction on space so why play them now? Right? Like, there's some things that are obvious decisions that I make, and then I go ahead and make a bad decision right behind it. So we're going to Aquifer, because we need oceans. We're going to get a card. We're going to stop self-berating ourselves for bad decisions. Here, here's a perfect example. Shuttles. Had I played Shuttles for the point... It almost would have made sense to buy the energy card because then it would have been free two titanium for two and then you get the tags, whatever. But even then you should sell a card for a dollar because it gives you something or wait until you have a synergy. Um, next up, let's buy another ocean. This time we want two plants because that's a break point. And then we throw this down, we get a bunch of money back and a, or, and a TR. Then, because I'm on a hot streak, let's spend a little bit of money to get more money because I think that gives us two oceans. Though, there is something to be said about waiting to see the next hand of cards. But I'd rather just get... This is the conservative play, is just to play the ocean now. So we did that. Shuttles. If I played for two titanium, I lose an energy production I do not need, as discussed. And I get $2 next round. 
and I'm not using the titanium, that's a worthwhile thing, not to mention it gives you a point. And there we go. So we kind of need one of all the things now. And if we can... Rover construction's a really cheap point. Permafrost extraction's a cheaper ocean. Draw a card. Don't think I have any cards to take resources. So let's build rover construction. And we're going to overspend on it. We really overspent there. Um, and we have a heat bump here. And we're going to need to do a heat bump. And we have an ocean in hand. We have enough titanium things that I'm willing to play this ocean for the titanium. Then I want to standard project because we need to get some points out of this run. And we're going to go find the points over here with the city. Because that gives us some plants and it allows us to drop some greeneries into some high plant yielding locations. We do a heat bump. Now, if we're screwed and I overspend all my money, I have this action. In fact, it, 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 there's no reason to keep my energy in the bowl unless I got like physics complex, which I can't get unless I seek out one of these card draws and I don't plan on it. So that's fine to do. Here's the, the funny part is now I'm immediately going to buy a greenery because I think that that's the best points on the table. Well, that's not true. There could be some good uh, city points, because you put a city here, and that probably would have been worth three points, because I probably would have put a greenery there by default. Here's the thing, though. I needed a couple extra bucks for this stuff anyway. So it's not like I would have had enough. I put two titanium into this. Because this is like that extra couple bucks that we weren't going to be able to spend. Right? Like, had I bought a greenery here for 20... Ooh, we have standard tech? No. So pretend we, we got our rebate right away. We'd spend 20 bucks and we get 4 bucks back for playing here. We would not be at, we would not be at or above twenty dollars if we had played this greenery. We would not have been able to play the cards we just played. We can buy steel income. We can play this event for free, and it does nothing. Look at that. Okay, I don't think it's a great run for points. Like we have fourteen points on cards. We got a decent number of greeneries. However, we can't get up to sixteen plants. So this is kind of just a wasted throwaway, not throwaway place, and we still get a city adjacency, but it's not huge. And then let's look. I can't help but feel I might have been better off just more standard projects for greeneries and stuff, but... A win's a win. Helion deserves to be in the easy mode category. In the last season, we tried to push them too hard. We ended up falling flat. Here, we didn't really have the opportunity to push them hard. We just had a little bit of heat that we generated through energy because we were so weak. But, you know, energize me, baby. I hope you enjoyed. I had a lot of fun. Probably going to do another recording right now because <laughs> I had a good time. And I really want a, a spicier run. You know, I want some spice. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Cheers.